Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and for this video I'm rolling solo dolo on the deconstruction and relocation of the Tennessee Titans. Now, uh, when we go through, after we relocate and we start playing through the season games, my co-host TNT Dynamite will be joining me for those games. But for now, basically what we're going to do is completely break down this team, get rid of all their old players, their good players, trade them away, and then completely rebuild the team from scratch in a new location. So the first thing you have to do is go ahead and go down to your stadium and relocate. So, boom. They are going to be relocated. So, all right. The next thing I, I'm going to do to take this team, I'm going to go into the roster and then sort by how old everyone is. All right. Anybody old is getting put on the trade block. Anybody over, uh, let's see, 29 and older. So we'll see if anybody bites on any of these guys here shortly. Uh, I guess the point of this is we want a young team. We want players that nobody's ever heard of, to be honest. So after this first year, obviously things normally go pretty badly. I'm not going to lie. We don't usually don't have a lot of success. Um, and I'm also going to uh, trade on the put on the trade block. Anybody that's in an uh, abnormally large contract, they're going to be put on the trade block. I'm going to have, and then anybody that, I don't know, anybody that I just feel like getting rid of, to be honest. So uh, <clears throat> we're doing that, going all the way through. So I've done these many times before. I think we have, let's see, we did the Austin Desperados. We did the Dublin Antlers a little bit. We did the Toronto Mounties. We've done the, who else have we done? Uh... Oh, the Mexico City Golden Eagles. So, and then uh, this, that was all last year's Madden. And then this year's Madden, we've uh, done a, another another rendition of the Austin Desperados. And now, I'm not exactly sure who we're going to do different, but, uh, but we're going to send them out for sure. And then I'm also going to put Marcus Mariota on the trade block because I don't want to keep anybody really from the team um i'd be all right with keeping derrick henry i guess but i'm gonna put Dion lewis on the trade block add to trade block he's not a star what the heck are they talking about i'd be all right to keep derrick henry if i need to uh they don't have a fullback wide receivers um i don't really like these guys so i'm gonna like put them on the trade block too even though they're young uh because i just want to get rid of players that are like actual players. So I'll put all these wide receivers just so we can get a fresh start. Normally I don't trade all the wide receivers away, uh, but these guys are all young. So that's cool. And then tight ends. I don't believe that. No, I'm good. So, all right. The next thing I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to go into my team and salaries. I'm going to see who has a crazy large salary here uh, for this year. So, Mariota, he's already on the trade block. Taylor Lewan, he's a good left tackle. Um, maybe I'll keep him. He's 29 years old. Okay, he's already on the trade block. He's on the trade block. I will put Logan Ryan on the trade block. Uh, let's see here. He is, I mean, they're all right. They only got a couple seasons left. Trade him. All right, cool. So, pretty much most of the guys that have ridiculous... Uh, salaries are already on the trade block. This dude is young. So we will uh, we'll keep him. God, he's making a lot of money for many, many years. One, two, three, four, five years. Holy crap, dude. All right, well, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll have a little bit of cap space after I get rid of these guys. And then, um, all right. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here first is simulate this first week of the preseason. And then uh, see who gets accepted for a trade. So we'll do that. We'll get to week two. And there we go. We, all right. We got the trade offers rolling in. All right. I'm going to take the best, the best whatever I get for these guys. So whatever it is, whatever the best offer is, even if I'm really getting ripped off, I don't care. There's a first and a seventh. 
First round picks are always better than everybody else. So first round pick it is, even though it's the Patriots. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take that. I'll take another first round pick. Thank you, sir. All right. Then we'll go down here. Who's next? Corey Davis. All right. Somebody wants to get him. He's 24. What are we offering for him? 277, a 225. Two, uh, let's see here. It's 50th overall pick. 57th overall pick. These are all... Yeah, usually these are like two years out. A two and a five is better. But you know what? They're a worse team. So I'm going to take that one. All right, cool. We'll trade him out. What do we got here? Uh, let's see. Oh, somebody wants my punter? <laughs> oh, dude, you can take the punter. Do you want a fourth round pick for my punter? Fourth, sixth, and seventh for my punter? Fourth, sixth, and seventh for my punter. Holy jeez, dude. All right. All right. Let's see. Four, six, seven. This is a this year, right? Yeah, I'm going to take this. All right, man. Look at that. I had no, I did not believe. I used to not be able to trade punters with the computer. All right. Here comes this guy. What do we got here? All right. Three, five, seven, two, five, seven. All right. Two, five, seven. Two, five, seven is the best offer I have. Two six seven. All right. Yep. All right. Two five seven. Thanks, Minnesota. Welcome. All right. Cool. I can dig it. All right. And we'll go down. Let's see. Oh, Cameron Wake. He's old. They probably won't give me much for him. A three and a seven, or a three five. And do I want this year or next year? I kind of wanted this year pick, so I'm gonna take it. Because I always throw everything into next year, and then. And then I end up with nothing, and the team is really bad. All right, cool. Oh, and this, and this guy, too. All right, cool, man. I can dig it. A two and a seven. All right, a two, five, seven, two, five. All right, let's take a look here. Two, five, seven. Yeah, all right, there we go. All right, cool. Look at that, man. I got some offers. I can dig it. All right. Um, all right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and advance one more week to see if I get any more trade offers. And then what I'm going to do is look at um, maybe trading for some players. Oh, I got an injury too. Oh, I got, oh, I got some more trade offers too. Who's injured? Who we got injured? Oh, this guy. Oh, he's trash. It's cool. No worries. All right. We'll go down to trade. Oh, Mar Marcus Mariota. What are we getting for him? A third round pick. You guys are trash. Two seven. Two five seven. Two seven. The Bills want a two. They're pretty bad. Uh are any of those this year? Nope. They're all like they give me a three. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take I think I'm gonna take the straight up. Yeah, the straight up two, man. All those late round picks, they can they can get out of here. I'll take a two for Mariota. That's fine. All right, we got Butler. We're gonna. What do we got here? What are we gonna get for this guy? Four and seven. That's this year. Ooh, a two. If you guys are giving up twos, yeah, I can't not take a two. Holy, and I get a fifth and a sixth this year too. All right, cool. You guys can have him. Welcome. Man, I'm getting a lot of trades for these guys. Normally, I don't get this many trade offers, so that's good. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Three and a seven or a three, five, and seven? I'll take a three this year so I can get some more draft picks because I need, I need to build this team up a little bit. So, all right. So, man, I feel like a lot of these guys are getting, uh, are getting done. So, let me go ahead and uh, actually, I'm going to advance it one more week and see if I get any more offers. Um, and then I'm going to take a quick, oh, I did. Cool. All right. Good deal. All right. We'll review offer. We got here. Who do we got? Ben Jones, three, five, seven. Uh, let's see. Three next year. Three. Is that next year? Yeah. And a five this year. These are all in the, I'll take this cause I'll take another, take another, uh, fifth round pick this year. 
because I'll need some depth. And who we got? Dwayne Walker. Oh, hello. All right, now we're in week four of the preseason. So um, let's see here. Three, five, seven. Wow, what is up with three, five, sevens? Oh, two, six. Yep, two. The two got it. The two has my attention. All right. God, next year I'm going to have a billion second round picks. It's completely all right with me. So, all right. So where are we at? We have next week is week one. And we are here. So what I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and go in. I'm going to uh, cut any of the other players that are that are old or high, high salaries, etc. Fill the team as I need with free agents. Uh, maybe try to do a manual trade or two. And if I do, I'll definitely post those in the video. Um, and then we will go from there. So I will be right back here in a second. Or I will post any updates as far as trades, etc. as I make them. Okay, everybody. I was able to trade away the two other wide receivers I wanted to get rid of, Humphreys and Sharp, for the Bills' first-round pick for this year. So I will have a first-round pick in this uh, next draft. And I like that. I, I, uh, I'm okay because I didn't want to keep those guys anyways. So what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and look into some more stuff, fill up the team, and I will be right back again. All right, guys. I am back this is week one. We're getting ready to start the season. And here is going to be the inaugural, I guess it would be the final Tennessee Titans team. Uh, so we got Tyree Jackson. He's going to be our rookie starting quarterback. Uh, let's see. We kept Derrick Henry. who So we do have a decent running back. Um, and then let's see here. We got Jacob Johnson as our fullback. Big old 61 overall. Uh, A.J. Brown. Demir Bird, Shelton Gibson, Cameron Batson, and Darius Jennings are the slew of great wide receivers we have. To an end, we got Joe Smith and Michael Pruitt. So let's see here. Our, our line, we have this guy, Taylor Lewan. He's good. So other than that, we have, yeah, 65. He's a rookie. We have 61. We have 61. We have... Right tackle at 78. So he's not trash. Defense is not completely terrible. Uh, got a rookie, 74. Uh, 70 overall, he's not good. Uh, Quan Jones, 78. Let's see, linebacker. We got Harold Landry. He's a one-year guy. This is a one-year guy. Rashawn Evans and Jayon Brown. They're, I mean, they're decent. We're on a 3-4. So uh, Kamali Correa, we, uh, we got him. He's great. Here we go here, Adoree Jackson, and then we have four dudes who are all 70. So one of these guys is going to, like, separate himself this year, I'm sure, and become the number two next year. But a lot of these guys are free agents, so uh, I may not even be able to re-sign them because they're going to want a billion dollars. And if you guys know anything about the way I run a team is I do not overpay for players. I will cut anybody. I don't care who you are. All right. Oh, look at this guy, Kevin Byard. He's a 90. All right, look at this. All right. Then we got old old Kenny Vaccaro here. He won't be around long. Our kicker is Jay Sly. Joey Sly, the rookie. And then Johnny Towns and the punter. Uh, who's going to be our kick returner? Shelton Gibson, our, running, our uh, wide receiver. Punt returner, Shelton Gibson, our wide receiver. So, All right, guys. What I'm going to do now is I am going to go ahead and uh, simulate week by week until we get to uh, the point where I can pick the team and the city and all that sort of stuff. So uh, I will be right back as soon as I am able to pick a team. Okay, everybody. I actually did one more trade here before I even got to pick my team. I tried to re-sign Derrick Henry twice, and he told me he just wanted to be a free agent. So then I traded him to the Colts for Nahim Hines and a fourth round pick so all right i'm gonna keep on keeping on just wanted to update you guys with uh, some moves that have been made okay everybody here i am at so week five i could just start the relocation process so we're going to view the available cities so we can either go to london mexico city toronto san antonio orlando salt lake city brooklyn memphis chicago sacramento Columbus, Ohio, Portland, Austin, Texas, Dublin, Houston, Oklahoma City, St. Louis, or San Diego, or Las Vegas. I honestly think I'm going to do 
Houston because I have an idea. So let's go ahead and do Houston. Boom. All right, so what I'm going to do, I've already uh, did everything with my scouting. I'm going to go to the next week. And I am going to go ahead and choose the name. So 20 years ago, the Houston Oilers moved to Tennessee and became the Tennessee Titans. More than 20 years ago now. Something like that. So what I am going to do is now move the Tennessee Titans back to Houston. And we are going to resurrect the Houston Oilers. Boom. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick break. I got to do this stuff. And then we'll pick uniforms and all that uh, next. But I want to go through and scout my players, etc. So I will be right back. Okay, everybody, here we are. We get to choose the uniforms for our team. So we're going to go style one, style two, or style three. This is the classic, and I don't think I'm going to change it up. I want to go back to the basics, the old school Oilers. There we go. All right, so let me go ahead and advance the week here. Go to the next week, and we'll get to pick our stadium. All right, um, let's see here. What kind of stadium do we want? Do we want, I'm not going basic for sure. So do we want the traditional stadium? Do we want to play in a dome? Do we want the hybrid? Or do we want the futuristic? I think, I think we, I think we want to play in a dome. Yeah, that sounds good. Dome it is, boom. And there we have it. So, all right, guys, what I'm going to do now is I am going to go ahead and go through the rest of the season to the end of the year. And then I will uh, do a little bit of a review to see, like, where we ended up, uh, all that sort of stuff. And we will go from there. Uh, but I will be back here shortly. All right, everybody. So here we are at the end of the season, uh, the regular season anyway. We still have the playoffs to go. Obviously, we did not make the playoffs i'm not even sure what our record was i'll go over that in a minute but i do want to go into the Reedy stein staff screen because we are going to fire our coach boom what's this guy he will give us wide receiver overall eh, he's not terrible and we will fire this guy so um yeah, I mean, Scott wide receivers is pretty good, I guess. Eh, F it. We'll just fire everybody. Boom. All right, so then we'll go ahead and advance to the next week, which is here. We will go ahead and advance to the next week, which is here. Uh, we're going to hire staff. All right, who are we going to get? Coaches, we should get. I like this guy. He, uh, you know, vertical power run, I guess, isn't what we want to do. Spread. Do any of these guys have... Ooh, he has expert scouting. Oh, we can get Mike, Mike Tomlin. Oh, wait, he has a billion... Uh, oh, wait, he has bidding. He has expert scouting. Ooh, a master trade negotiator. All right, so who can we get? Oh, we can get John Gruden. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We will take... John Gruden. That's pretty sweet. All right. Well, we'll bring John Gruden to the freaking... Uh, we'll actually pay him a little extra money because he's funny. All right. We'll pay him for... Uh, we'll do four years. Boom. And then scouts. We want... Who do we want to scout, man? Uh, Let's see. Quarterback overall is a good one. QB... This guy, I mean, I guess is better than anybody else. I mean, we have a guy. He's been he's been getting better with our our things, but um, let's see here. We will do. I'm not even sure who we want, man. Who do we want, guys? Wide receiver overall, tight end overall. 
Yeah, maybe maybe we'll do a wide receiver overall guy. We'll do this guy. I mean, whatever, dude. Trainers. All right, this is where we need. We we need a guy who is world class. So we'll go with the guy who is world class. This guy. And we will bring him up to four years and give him a better offer. So, all right, cool. We got three offers out there on the table. We're going to advance the week. There we go. See if any of these guys sign as our coaches. Tell me they did. We hired trainer and we hired scout and we hired coach. So everybody is good to go. And it looks like uh, we're going to go ahead and get to the Super Bowl. Which, look, it's the Browns and the freaking Saints in the Super Bowl. And Which is funny because our terrible team beat the Browns week one. So that's pretty sweet. I'm going to go ahead and uh, scout and upgrade my players and all that stuff. And I will be back in just a second to do our season in review to see how our team ended up doing. All right, everybody. Here we are at the off season uh, with John Gruden. And Houston Oilers moving forward. So let me first go ahead and look at how the team did this year. And we will see what their stats look like. So we had uh, Tyree Jackson here who started out as a 62 overall quarterback. He's now 71. He's gotten better. So if I don't get anybody else, I think he might be serviceable for a year. And then we got rushing. We have, uh, oh my God, they did bad. I mean, the amount of, I guess the amount of uh, yards per carry isn't terrible, but why did they give everyone a, a freaking scoop, man? I don't know. So anyways, we have Heinz for next year. I may get more people, whatever. Uh, receiving, AJ Brown, he'll be back. This guy's back. This guy's back. This guy is not back. Um, and everybody else is just, eh. So I'm cool there. No, but nothing really crazy um, defensively. Let's take a look here. So 80, 111 tackles for that guy. Let's see here. Sacks. Let's see. The, the end tackle. Not, I mean, not terrible. Do we have anybody doing any interceptions? Oh, Vaccaro had four. That's nice. Uh, do we have any? Any. We had a defensive touchdown. Kenny Vaccaro. Look at him. All right. So. Let's take a look here. Let's go to the awards this year. Yearly awards. Let's see who did what. So MVP, nobody on our team. Andrew Luck is the MVP. He plays for the freaking Broncos. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure how that happened, but whatever. Uh, we'll go to AFC. We have nobody for Offensive Player of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year. Anybody? Miles Garrett. Look at that. Uh, nope, nobody there. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Ooh, Tyree Jackson, my rookie quarterback. And A.J. Brown, my rookie wide receiver. That's pretty sweet. I can dig it. Defensive Player of the Year, look at this guy. We have another guy who's good. I, I can dig it. I like it. Best quarterback, mm, we're not on there. Best running back, mm, we are not on there either. Oh, my God. Best wide receiver, nope. Offensive line? Nope. Defensive line? Nope. Wow, our team is trash. There we go. We got one. All right, Rashawn Evans, best linebacker. Defensive back? Oh, we got Vaccaro down there. All right, cool. Kicker or kicker is trash. Wow, man. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the standings for how every team did this season. So, oh, the Browns were 13-3. and three. One of those three losses was to us, by the way. So we'll go, uh, we'll just go through the divisions. AFC North, the Browns and Ravens made the playoffs, uh, which is awesome. 13-3. Uh, and three. I think any Browns fan would like that. AFC South, just the Jaguars going 9-7. and seven. Look at me. So we're going to have Bally Houston every year. The Oilers and the Texans. I can dig it. Uh, let's see. The East, got the Patriots and the Jets. AFC West, Chargers and just the Chargers. NFC, who Packers at eight and eight. The South, the Saints and Falcons made it. Ooh, the Panthers missed. They were seven and zero oh and ended up at. Wow, that's trash. Um, Eagles and Cowboys and Rams, just the Rams. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and look at the playoffs, the league schedule, and we will go up to the wild card. So the wild card, the Jets. And the Patriots beat the Jets, the Rams beat the Falcons, 
the ja- the Ravens beat the Jaguars, and the Packers beat the Cowboys. Then we had the Browns beating the Ravens. I think everyone would love if the Browns beat the Ravens at home in the playoffs. It would be like manifest destiny. Uh, Eagles over the Packers. Ooh, the Cl- the Chargers beat the uh, Pats. Okay. And then we got the Saints over the Rams. The championship games. Cleveland beat the Chargers and the Saints beat the Eagles. And in the Super Bowl, the freaking Browns pulled one out and won the Super Bowl on their own accord. 32-22 to over the Saints. So... That is really it, guys. I mean, there's nothing really to go over. Oh, let me show you all the players who are not coming. Oh, you know, silly me. Let me show you the team. This is the team that we had. Uh, We had, uh, let's see, Tyree Jackson. He got up to 71. Uh, Niam Hines didn't get any better the whole freaking season. So I may not keep him around. We have our Jacob Johnson fullback, wide receivers. We had Brown, Bird, Gibson, Batson. Fulgham, a lot of really bad guys. I mean, just to be honest, uh, who we have? We have a uh, Johnu Smith. He, yeah, he's pretty sweet, I guess. I mean, he'll be around. We got Michael Pruitt. Um, let's see here, tackle Taylor Lewan. Let's see how these he, any of these people get better. Oh, he got up to seventy three. That's not terrible. Ooh, God, they're still all trash. Ooh, they're bad. And that guy, all right, eighty one. We're not bad there. Eighty overall here. 70 and 70, man. These guys are, whoo, they're not very good. Tackle, he's up to 79. My linebackers are decent, though, except for this guy. My left outside linebacker is not the greatest. Uh, then I got 81 and 82, and this guy's 82 as well. I think some of these guys are all going to be gone because there's a billion dudes who uh, who want. And I resigned this guy. So I got these top two boys. The other two guys didn't really do much, so. Uh, 91 overall. This guy's not bad. Hooker, he's up to 72. Strong safety. Vaccaro, he's getting old, though. He's 29, man. He ain't going to be around long. Joey Sly, Jay Sly, and then uh, the punter, who I believe we'll be getting rid of. Um, All right. So then our draft picks, we end up with the fifth overall pick and the 16th overall pick, which isn't bad. And then uh, we got some other quality picks. So we'll see who we can draft. That'll be in the next video of the off-season video. So... All right, everybody, that is all the time I have for today's episode. Uh, please make sure to like the video, share it, subscribe it, send it, share it with your friends. That's the thing that, that helps us out the most, get other people to see it. Uh, but for Jonas, I'll catch you on the next one. will be the off season, be building up to season two. Well, season one, I guess, of the raid of the Oilers. And then uh, I'll be on that video solo. And then starting with week one, we'll be with my co-host TNT Dynamite, and we will rock through the season with the Houston Oilers. But for Jonas, I will catch you on the next one. For now, I am out.